know that I actually say it right the first time. Hi, everybody. Um, my name's Ashen. Uh, I really got social anxiety, so this is a really big deal for me. So if I don't do so good, <laughs> if I don't do so good, please pity laugh with me. <laughs> All donations are welcome. <laughs> so I think the worst part about having social anxiety is I have like two friends. And they're both here tonight. <laughs> I have like two friends, and we're basically inseparable, but you know, they're their own people, and they have plans outside of me. So, you know, when they go out and they do these plans, I'm fucked. <laughs> so, I don't leave the house. And you know, I think college has really helped with my anxiety, because you know, it's about trying all these new scary things, uh, you know, big transition, you know, different workload, scarier tests, frat boys, the real scary stuff. But I think, I think what people fail to mention as a scary thing is, is the skateboarders here on campus. <laughs> you already know. You'll, uh, you'll be walking past the student union. It's a warm day, beautiful breeze. You're listening to music, your favorite song came on. You're just feeling great. And then you hear, <laughs> the wheels against the concrete. And then they get faster and they get louder. <laughs> and you turn and you're trying to figure out which way they're coming from so you don't get hit. And you look and then you get smacked across the cheek. <laughs> and the breeze goes by the opposite direction. And by the time you recollect yourself and you're looking forward, they're gone. They're just like dust cloud, like in Scooby Doo when they're running away from monsters. <laughs> Bad time. But there's a there's one demographic worse than the skateboarders here on campus, and it's the bikers. <laughs> and I don't mean the leather jacket, sunglasses, assless, assless chat folk. <laughs> I'm talking to Unitar Olacomic motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> they ride around like they own the place. <laughs> and to give you an example of how horrible these people are, it was my first week here at Unitar, and I was walking back to my dorm from class when I got a text from my father asking how school was going. So I was going to reply, and I looked up like people do to make sure they don't run into anybody. And there's a biker a good distance away from me. So naturally, I moved from the center of the road to the right of the road, like we do here in the United States. <laughs> <laughs> and I finished my text, and I send it. And by the time I look back up from my phone, the biker's significantly closer to me, but also on my right side of the road. <laughs> In shock, because this guy's an idiot, I get hit by this guy on the bike, <laughs> and my phone flies to the right of me, and I'm, you know, falling, and I see my feet in the air, and I notice one of my shoes is untied. <laughs> my glasses are gone, I have no idea where they went. I look to my left to see the clouds, or the trees, and just a big green blur, like before you get your glasses, where everything's just one big shape. That's what it looked like. And eventually, what feels like four hours later, I hit the ground and I'm out of breath, so I take a big gasp, you know, the <gasps> And my vision is like triple, right? So you know when your vision goes double, it's already bad, but when you're seeing three of everything, I probably have a concussion. And as I'm catching my breath and I'm trying to focus my eyes, I look up to the clouds and they appear to be forming shapes. Eventually, my vision focuses again, and I squint, because I can't see far away. And the clouds read, bikers only. Thank you, good night. <laughs>